What's up, everyone? Welcome to Today Matters. If I haven't met you yet, my name is Tevin Lucas, and I have the pleasure of being the Arizona campus pastor. I'm so excited to, to share this little three-part devotional um, that has really meant a lot to me and that I've been diving into, and I've titled it The Power in Proximity. And when I talk about proximity, I'm talking about the nearness in space and in relationship. And we're going to go through um, the next three days. The first day today, we're going to talk about God's proximity to us. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about our proximity to God. And then the third day, we're going to finish with our proximity to people. And the importance of this is to hopefully, by the end of this, you will, you will feel the importance and the power of not only our proximity, but God's proximity. And today, we're going to dive into 1 Kings 19. And in 1 Kings 19, we see this story about a man named Elijah. And he just defeats the, the false prophets of Baal. And God has done a, so many amazing things through him. And he comes up to this point where he is threatened, um, threatened for his life. And he actually is on the run. And he goes through this wild journey where he's desperate, he's lost. These angels come to him, they wake him up, they bring him food. And then he goes on this 40-day and 40-night journey. And he's just looking for the Lord and he's waiting on the Lord. And the angels tell him to go wait. And he's waiting on this mountainside. And that's where we're going to pick up in, in verse 11. And the, the angel and he said, go out and stand on the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by, and a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. So we see earth wind and fire. That's for the old people. Um, but the Lord was not in the earth, wind, or fire. And then it says, and after the fire, the sound of a low whisper. And I don't know if you remember back to, to elementary school when you were first taught how to, how to whisper your, your quiet voice. And I remember my teacher would teach me when you're whispering, you don't want anybody that's more than a foot away to hear you. And this was actually so that you could kind of talk and not disrupt people around you. But when I think of whispering, I've always asked, why does God whisper? When it, when it feels like the lies and the shouts of the enemy are so loud around us and there's so much going on, why does God whisper? And I, I believe, and after reading so much, I, I truly believe that the reason why God whispers is because he's close. He doesn't have to shout. He doesn't have to yell from across the room. God whispers because he's right there with you. And when we see this with Elijah, Elijah goes through this season where he's lost, depressed, and he's just not really wanting to even live anymore, it says in the scripture. And God comes in a whisper. And I just imagine that this whisper showed God's proximity to Elijah. And I believe that we can take away from this God's proximity to us. That no matter what you're going through, no matter where you find yourself, he whispers because He's close. He whispers because he's right there with you. And there's a song called The Blessing that the lyrics, I was listening to it earlier this week, and I felt like it was just so true of God's proximity to us. And the lyrics say, may his presence go before you and behind you and beside you, all around you and within you. He is with you. He is with you. And that couldn't be more true. So when it comes to God's proximity to us, know that he's right there with you every step of the way. 
no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're walking through, no matter where you find yourself. And maybe you're like Elijah and you feel like you're just searching for him. And if it was you, you'd be out there on the mountaintop saying, where are you? Where are you? And I want you to find comfort that he comes in a whisper because he's close. Thank you so much for joining us. I can't wait to dive in tomorrow and to our proximity with God. Mm -hmm.